Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. This is Full Circle with Mwikali. I see your feedback. So the post today on uh, social media says, is it possible to be single and happy? What are your thoughts um, on women who are still single in their 30s and 40s? Okay, so here are some of your responses. Uh, watching from Muranga, no such a thing. They take mabona za wenyewe. Wow, bitterness much. You chose violence this early in the morning. If you're single, you see happy couples out there. If you're married, you see singles living happily. Anyway, the devil is a liar. You have to decide wisely. Um, Francis Okumu is saying they claim to be so, but in reality, these ladies are lonely and miserable. Ukifungulia, akikufungulia roho, utashanga. Haya, sawa. Uh, Shilo, Shila Wanja, you're saying um, it's okay for them since others don't like um, the Sumbua men and maybe also because they're financially stable so they are stress-free. We need people like this who are matured and very understanding. Okay. Uh, Huntington from Nandi County, Nesamamwikali, it is possible due to many obstacles Maybe she has passed through the past relationships or the decision she has chosen for the best of her. But it is not considered good like that. At it's not it's not really like that, Mukali. Dongwa Kamo say I don't see any problem in being single. After all, it's about choosing what makes you peaceful and what makes you happy. Ati huwa sema hawataki sumbua. This is a term they created, single and happy. Ain't no such thing, and you're walking away from us as you say such. Kafi yakaskia kisumu. That name is interesting. The society wana mini ati kukuwa single kama wana mke ati ukona kasoro ati you wasted your twenties kwa watu hawaezi kuwa na ati sasa how when you likata saizi hawaezi kukuwa. It is possible for you to be happy though we are all created differently, man and woman, with a reason and a reason. A reason and a season and it's not guaranteed that you will be happy forever and the last one that will read this so much more uh, mary kangeda you're saying once you feel okay being single other times you miss some company so i guess and so, uh, you miss some company i guess and you can't be single and happy though ka freedom when you single nikatamo <laughs> there are all kinds of controversial answers to media care zingine ni opinions zingine ni just you nini just stereotypic kind of comments but we're going to be having this conversation yani with someone who is single and happy it is time for relationship circle Angela welcome to the show thank you now now where's <laughs> Yeah, nimeweza so far. Yes, yeah. so kindly introduce yourself. My name is Angel Anzilani. I mm -hmm. am a healing and transformation life coach. Mm -hmm. And I have a company called Angelique Achievers mm -hmm. where I help people to heal mm -hmm. and transform yes. and get to have a relationship with themselves mm -hmm. that is needed before they can even have a relationship with anyone in business in uh, you mm. know in in the bedroom wherever yes, even wherever. with your own children <laughs> yes <laughs> so this is important because you need to have a proper relationship with yourself yes yes that it's happy wherever you are yes happy single happy married not miserable single miserable married mm -hmm. because that is how it goes yes yes there are two kinds of relationships. Yes. One is inter. Inter is with you and other people. Mm -hmm. And another, the other relationship is intra, with, with is, which is uh, a relationship with yourself. Yes. And the most important relationship you can have is with yourself so that you can also now be able to attract people who are like you or, you know, situations that suit your, your, your current situation. Okay. I'm not saying that... Uh, if you're single, remain single. No. It's okay. That's not what you're saying. I'm saying that if you're single, be happy while at it. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You've had the comments, Cindy. Yeah, yeah. And some, <laughs> some of them I was like, ouch. And others. 
<laughs> I was like, first, I just turned 33, he unmarried, so people just assume that you're single mm -hmm. and probably unatafuta, ama, they don't know what your story is. Yes. Why is it so difficult to understand women, especially, mm -hmm. who are 30 years, 40 years, and they're not married? Why is the society so harsh on them? Because no one can, can know your journey they only know their own journey. That's true. So they, they will only judge you according to what they've been through, okay. according to what they know. Mm -hmm. But if they, if they knew better, like if they knew your journey, then they would understand where or why you're there and why you're the way you are. I, there was a discussion on, I think, Classic FM the other day, mm -hmm. some weeks ago, about why men cannot marry 40 years, 40 uh, years old get, and 30 let's something get there. year old. <laughs> yes, so because it's one of the things I would have asked, you know. And I was listening to the men and I'm like, man, don't go know yourself first. Yes. Because they don't even know who they are. Because if they did, they wouldn't judge this 40 year old woman like myself. I'm 41 and I'm, I'm happily single. Yay. I am happy at where I am. Yes. And if you would ask me, I was married at maybe at around 35 mm -hmm. and I was miserable so why is being single so hard while I was or, or why why is it so hard for people to understand that it's okay to be single while you know that there are so many people who are really suffering in, marriage? in, in marriages yeah. or just doing it because society said that ukifika 25 olewa ukifika 35 you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's yeah, society, yeah. but what people don't understand, and I think that I'm, I feel like I'm now the expert, which I shouldn't. <laughs> this is my last comment before we get back to you. Is that people don't understand, but people have s s personal journeys. Yes. That's a personal decision. Mm -hmm. Sometimes even intentional. Yes, yes. Sometimes it's very intentional. Like myself, uh, when I came out of what uh, the, what I called it, it wasn't really a marriage. It was something the quotes. thing that that was. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, I knew that I needed to take care of me. Mm -hmm. I needed to really know and understand who I am. Yeah, and get to make myself at a place or put myself at a place where I attract what I want now. Mm -hmm. Or if I see what I don't want, I can be very quick to tell that this is not good for me. Mm -hmm. And then I'm better off as I am. I am better off single. Yes. So it, it's, it's, a, it's a deliberate journey or a deliberate uh, choice that people need to make to first of all, take care of themselves. That's true. You know, love you, know your soul before you can start looking for a soulmate. Mm. Yeah, because many people are broken out there. Yes. And unless you mend what was broken, then you're going to bring in your brokenness into somebody. And this person, maybe they are already made, or maybe this person is also broken. Yes. So you're going to make one broken marriage bring in broken children yes. and then we have we end up we, ne we end up having broken adults because we will bring up these children in brokenness yes. and at the end of the day we have children who have had childhood traumas mm -hmm. and they grow up and they will also get into other marriages that yes. are broken mm. you see mm. the cycle continues so we need to first of all heal ourselves mm. get to understand who do i you know, who, who, do I, who do I want to become? Who am I as a person? Where am I? And what is my surrounding like? Yes. You know, just being self-aware. Yeah. Being able to even manage your own emotions so that you can also be able to manage another person's emotions. That is so true. Y yeah. And, yeah. you know, society will tell you that this is what we've decided for your gender. Mm -hmm. Okay. Long time in memory of our great grandfathers, this is what they decided. Yeah. And we're going with it. So get into the program. And tried and tested. You were in there. Mm -hmm. Now you're happily single, 41 years old. What are some of the things that you have to deal with all the time mm -hmm. when it comes to society and maybe friends yeah. who will be insensitive and say some things to you? Or maybe some men, are, are you looking to date again? Is that space even, you know, is there space for that mm -hmm. to happen without judgment? I, oh, I deal with a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Referrals. Oh, <laughs> you've so been hooked up a couple of times. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> yeah, or uh, I saw your story and uh, I, I think your um, wife material. And I was like, like, really? What? what nylon, <laughs> silk, mitangapi. <laughs> yeah, and you, are you a, a husband, husband material? material? You see, you have to look at yourself first. If I see her and I think that she's really good, mm. am I good enough for her? And would you exactly. marry you? Yes. If, if you were to come out of yourself and now caught yourself, would mm. you marry mm. you? Mm. So before you even start calling me my wife material, look at yourself first. What and material what are you? What makes you think that you are my material? Yes. Maybe <laughs> you are material for Wamboi, Uka Kwa Kona. Exactly. Or Clara on the other side, not Amwikali, uh, Angela. Uh -huh. And I always say that if, if I am, if you are a good person, mm -hmm. You don't need, it's not necessarily, um, or, or it's not obvious yes. that you are good for me. Yes. You can be a good person, yeah, but you're good for another person, mm. not for me. Mm. The fact that I am good, I'm a good person, I've chosen to be like this. Mm -hmm. I'm not for everyone. There is that person who, I know maybe if the person will ever come, yes. I will know when I see them. That is so true. I will know when I see him. And through your experience in life, then you know what it is that you do not want. Exactly. You know. Yeah. And when people see that you're not compromising, they think that you're just being... Um, Stubborn. <laughs> your bar is too high. Yeah, bar and too high. And that's why you will remain single Ata watu walikona kukatia saizi walisha mari. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, people look at... Um, there's one topic about marriage yes. that people see. Because you, you realize, when you read that comments, women writing something like, I'm not ready to marry someone who's like this and this and yes. this. They comment things like, that's why you'll remain single. Yes. That's why you will... Yes. And they look at one aspect about marriage, which is sex, and it is the smallest. It's a very small um, aspect about marriage. Yeah. There's a lot. God created marriage for companionship. Mm. He did not even create it for children. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he created for companionship. Oh, my God, yes, because even the children came out of to Mefanya Dhambi Kwa Garden. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, and you see... It was just the two of them. So it so is still okay to marry even at 50. Yes. Because that, you will get companionship. You are not looking for children at that time. Mm -mm. Yeah, you're just looking for companionship. Or maybe you've been having a companion, they died. Mm. And maybe you still feel okay yes. to... Because, uh, you know, there are so many causes of being single. That is true. Yeah. Most people assume... Unaringa, aujapata mtu. Yeah. But sometimes you lose the one you love to disease. Exactly. Yeah. They die. Mm -hmm. Or they just leave you. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not you choosing to be single, but probably life has happened and yeah. you're in this situation and you need to heal before you get back on the bandwagon. Please note, we're not saying please to quit single. Mm -hmm. We're just saying that it is okay and it is possible for you to be single and to be happy. Yes. It is very possible. So don't come at us. Willem Nasemati will die miserable. <laughs> it's even biblical. I mm -hmm, think in mm -hmm. uh, First Corinthians, uh, yes. chapter 7, I don't know which mm -hmm. verse exactly, but it, it, it states that uh, yes. it's okay to be single. And if you're single, remain single. Because in marriage, there are so many troubles. Mm -hmm. That is in the Bible. That is in the Bible? Yes. We are warned already. You... <laughs> about this union yeah it's like if you walk in just no trouble will come <laughs> but it is the companionship that you have or the relationship that you have that we will fight this together yeah and yeah. we will overcome it yeah and probably this will be just one trouble there are many more coming yes so we have feedback here hi Mwikali. it's better to stay single than to be in a relationship and not comfortable power to you Mwikali, i decided to be single since high school it's a decision deep down and no one or any theme anything can change that and I am single and happy. You can be miserable, married, enjoy singlehood, pray for the right marriage. And sometimes people end up being single or not choosing marriage because of probably what they saw their parents go through. Sometimes it's good to ask yourself, have a good why. Yes. What is your reason mm. for staying single? Mm -hmm. Because um, some are just traumatized. Like what I said about childhood traumas. Yes. They are traumatized by, by what they saw mm. in their parents. Mm -hmm. And because of that, they are not able to get past that. Now, that is where healing is called for. 
Yeah. That's well, that's why I, I now I, I saw the need for healing. I saw the need for someone to first of all get past whatever it is that is blocking them from making this conscious decision. Is it if you if you decide decided to get to stay single mm. while you were in high school? Mm. In high school, you were as a young person. Yeah. You so are still a child. There must be something that happened to you or around you yes. that made you make that decision. Absolutely. So ask yourself, are you being victimized by what happened? Mm. Or are you is it a decision you made consciously yes. because of who you are? Mm. Yeah. Okay. And at at in high school, that's a teenager. Yes. Of course, the mind was not even mature enough. Yeah. yeah. So you need to first of all grow to you know, if you're maybe past 25 for women, that's mm. when the mind now stops growing. And that's why it's so hard or, or it's so uh, wrong for women to get married at 25 and mm. below. I hear Benjamin Zulu in you. <laughs> 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 so there's, um, there's a notion yeah. that single women who are older are homewreckers. Oh, and I, so let me just read Eunice Kwamboka. It's a woman, right? Mm -hmm. Writing this and says, if you want to, re to remain single, don't be a homebreaker because others are saying better to be single. Na amekusanya mabwana za watu wa kulipa school fees, kulipa nyumba, na shopping, na wasaloon. So this is... <laughs> <laughs> so there's a lot of that that comes out if you go through the comments yeah. that you can't be single and be happy mm -hmm. and not be with other people's husbands. You see, being single doesn't mean that you're being, you're, I, I would say that that's a woman who speaks from a place of uh, helplessness. Okay. Because she, 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 she sees men as a source of help, mm. as a source of some some things yes. but she doesn't look at herself as capable mm. and that's why she thinks that other women even those who are single that they would be out to look for you know what yeah. can i get from this yeah. and that and mm. you know but you need to first of all look at yourself before you even speak out yeah. what comes up out of your mouth out of your head <laughs> portrays who you are that's true yeah because say that today you're married yes what if he dies tomorrow will you portray what you're writing or what you're saying. You're already thinking it. Yeah, what you're thinking. Mm. Because you think what you are. That's whatever true. comes into your mind, you are your mind. So whatever comes in from your mind, and then you went ahead you're stripped <laughs> of all these things that that you 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 know you define yourself with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who are you? Angela, this conversation, you know we could be here all day. And I'll be <laughs> here for it. Yeah? So how can people get in touch with you if you're looking for healing and finding ourselves, being happy and content with who we are, married or not? Mm -hmm. How can we get in touch with you? Uh, my number is 0720-265-374. Just say that again. 0720-265-374. Mm -hmm. You can write me an email on Angelic Achievers. Angelic with Q-U-E. Mm. Uh, it's French, angeliqueachievers at gmail.com or you can get in touch with me on my social media uh, circles. Um, there's a lot to, to see or to, to learn from my YouTube channel, which is Angela Nzilani. Asante, sir. Yes. We are going to take a very short commercial break. When we come back, we have a conversation around a profession that is rarely, if talked about at all. We're going to be talking to morticians. We'll be right back.